While heavy rain and severe weather impact the eastern two-thirds of the country, parts of the west are gripped by record-breaking heat. It is hot with a capital H. Lonnie Quinn, that's chief weathercaster of our New York station, that's WCBS, is here with how it's all connected. Lonnie, good morning. Well, good morning to you, Gail, and good morning, everybody. You know, look, everything's connected in our atmosphere. The big rain that we just showed you in Pennsylvania, all due to a low-pressure system pulling in lots of tropical moisture. Out west, what we're dealing with, all of this heat, all because of a high-pressure system, and this high and that low are connected because they're basically just cars stuck in a traffic jam behind that. This high-pressure system, until this moves, nothing changes. Heat continues here in the west. Low pressure continues to pull in big rain for the east coast. Look at the numbers in terms of rainfall that we're talking about. Any area shaded in this like orange or red color, that's a half a foot or more of rain by the time you get to the end of the work week. Here in the West, our numbers are off the charts. Palm Springs today will reach 121 degrees. I mean, that's a record for the date. The all-time record in Palm Springs, 123. So you're getting close there. And as you go into tomorrow, again, nothing changes. Wednesday's high temperature, Palm Springs, 120 degrees. This is dangerous heat. That even continues into Thursday. Thursday, about 118. Now, I talk about how the all-time record in Palm Springs, 123 degrees. All-time record ever recorded uh, in the world, really, is Death Valley at 134. So you're even within, uh, you know, I guess, spitting distance of that. This is a lot of heat, but again, you got to emphasize that this is dangerous. Nora? Wow, it's just incredible to see those temperatures. Lonnie, thank you.